to join a bless your portal from their past studios of Ghana Talk Shady. Here is the daily news summary for Thursday, 30th of June 2022. GCAA officially occasions Ghana card as a acceptable travel document for Ghanaians entering the country. The Ghana Civil Aviation Authority has given the green light for the use of Ghana cards as a means of travel for citizens entering the country. This was contained in a letter dated June 27, 2022 and signed by its Director General Charles Quirk. We wish to bring to your kind attention the correspondence from the Ghana Immigration Service regarding the official notification of the acceptance of the Ghana card as a travel document for entry into Ghana by citizens. The letter read in part. Apple eyes for all purchases from dashboard as it wraps up car software. Apple INC wants you to start buying gas directly from your car dashboard as early as this fall when the newest version of its CarPlay software rolls out, accelerating the company's push to turn your vehicle into a store for goods and services. A new feature quietly unveiled at Apple's developer conference this month will allow CarPlay users to tap an app to navigate to a pump and buy gas straight from a screen in the car, skipping the usual process of inserting or tapping a credit card. Details of Apple's demo for developers have not previously been reported. Vodafone, Google look to extend Wear OS smartwatch battery life. Vodafone is working with Google to extend the battery life of a smartwatch by reducing the chatter between the device and the network. A bigger drain of energy than screen brightness and other settings targeted by the low power needs. The mobile operator has developed an API that is application programming interface that enables apps and operating systems such as Google Android Wear OS to reconfigure how they communicate with its network. Vodafone's director of network architecture, Santiago Teniro, said Nigerian actress Funke Akindili and husband split after nearly six years of marriage. Music executive Abdul Rashid Bello, aka JJC Skills, has announced his separation from actress Funko Akemdili. He revealed this in a post shared on his Instagram page this morning. He shared the last two years of their marriage has been extremely difficult and that he has moved out of their home after Funko asked him to. Seven confirmed dead, 55 year dead as massive landslide works through India. At least seven people have died and another 55 appear to have been killed after a massive landslide in a remote area of the northeastern Indian state of Munuba, local officials said on Thursday. Rescue workers battled heavy rains and inclement weather to pull out 19 survivors from the rubble on Thursday morning after the landslide occurred at a railway construction site in the early hours. But said the likelihood of finding any more was thin. FIFA sells 1.8 million tickets for Qatar's World Cup. Organizers have sold 1.8 million tickets for this year's World Cup in Qatar. World Soccer governing body FIFA said Wednesday, ahead of the next round of ticket sales that opens on July 5th. There is a special category of tickets available only to residents of host nation Qatar and fans in the Gulf Arab state have brought the largest number of tickets, FIFA said. Want to listen to the latest tunes in Ghana and around the world? Or would you like to know more about Ghanaian culture and everything in between? We have you covered. Check out various podcasts on our website, www.ghanatalksradio.com. Thank you for choosing Ghana Talks Radio and have a good evening.